Hey guys, Omnimus here with a how-to video. I'm going to show you how to make a professional looking um, 3D style intro for your videos. So first what I use is, it's called Corel 3D Motion, or Motion Studio 3D. Um, no, it's not free. It's like 80 bucks. But, um, as a YouTuber personally, it, it pays for itself. So. so first thing you're dealing with is frames in this program. You're not dealing with the length of a clip, you're dealing with frames in the clip, and that will determine the length based on the frames per second, right? So we're going to go a little bit longer, 200 frames. And we're going to start simple. Um, first, first thing, we'll, we'll just do some text. So we'll insert some text. Let's choose for the heck of it, Guardian font. Let's go size 24. Say hello. Test. Okay, so that looks a little bit big for us. So you got some tools here. You got a hand, you can move this around. And now, moving it around will affect it in this position. Right? So this is the timeline. And when you do something to the text in the timeline, it saves it there. So if you come back here, you can move it down here. You'll see it'll move from the bottom to the top. Okay? So, now what we'll do is we'll put that back in the middle and we're going to choose a text motion. Just do something simple. How about, let's do this. Okay? There, now you can see it's added some, some things here. It's added a position, an orientation, and a scale several different spots in the timeline. So that now, you'll get this for an animation. Okay. And now you can change what the animation does, how quickly it does its thing, by changing the orientation or adding your own new orientations throughout the clip. So you can have it quickly come into view and then fly out of you really quick. Oh, maybe that wasn't quick enough. So what we can do here is come here. Let's move that. Oop, don't want to change the sides. So we want to move that over. Got the hand. Move that over a little bit more. Come to here. Yeah, that should be better. Well, still not quite quick enough. So you can take it here. Move it more. There you go, you're starting to get more or less you know, what you wanted to get out of the te text. Uh, it takes just a little bit of playing, but eventually you, you figure it out. So let's go back over here and then you can change all kinds of things. You can change the style and the effects and the um, the bevel. All kinds of different attributes you can change. I'll let you guys play around with that. Not super, super important. What is important is what you do next. So you go to scene, and you could, I guess you can choose your own color based on what tools you're using. But because I barely use purple, I use purple as my backdrop. Okay? So we're going to say this as, uh, we'll call it, uh, hello. create a video file. Okay? So, um, there are preferences that you can set up uh, within the program. 
Let's see here. Um, so display quality, output quality. You want it all on best. Okay. And then obviously you want it. For me, I like a 10, uh, 1920 by 1080p. Okay, we'll call this file hello. We're going to save it. Now, we could have done a little bit more there. Um, notice we never really saw the whole word in the middle. That's definitely, definitely something you could have changed. So we go to the middle here and take the size slider. And, oh, no, that's the position slider. There we go. There you go. So now it would be more visible. But for the purposes of this video, not important. Right? Okay, so we're going to close that. We're done with that. Next you're going to open up, uh, well, for me again, I use Movie Studio Platinum from Sony. It's 140 bucks. Um, but it has all kinds of fun tools. So, the first thing you're going to do so you're going to go to Explorer here. And you're going to find that video that we just made. What was that called? Test Text? Actually, I think we just called it Hello, right? Where's Hello? Hello... Here it is. Okay. So we're going to put it in the video overlay section. Okay? So right now, if you play the video, it's still the purple hello test. Right? So we want to turn that into something usable. So what we'll do is, we're going to take a second video and put it in the background. In the video section. Now you can find these at different places on the internet. I'm not going to get into that. That'll be a different video. But just type in, you know, a free video overlays or underlays or whatever. Free video backgrounds, whatever. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll split it here. So that they're both the same length. Okay. And so, now we have to add an effect to this situation. And that's chroma keying. So you go to your chroma key here, and you grab the default chroma key here, and you drag it to the overlay. Now you're going to click on color, you're going to click on the color picker, and you're going to pick on your purple background. Okay? Then you're going to click on show mask, and that'll show how much of the text is actually getting blurred out. You can see there's some little dark spots right here. You want to get everything white. Just white. You don't want the background starting to turn white. Okay. Okay. Take that show mask only button off. And there you go. Now you just, uh, the easy part, you just grab a song. Who cares what it is? Split it. And again, you can take t uh, several clips like this and paste them on top of each other to create your intro. But uh, for now, we have this. Not much, right? But that's because we didn't put much into it. I just showed you the basic tools to get you to this point, and I'm sure you can see the possibilities from here. So I'll just uh, quickly close this. Oh, one more thing. On your video files, you right-click, disable resample. Right-click, disable resample. For some reason, um,
Sony likes to resample that stuff, and it makes us, it gives it this weird ghosting appearance. You don't want that. Okay, so we, we'll quickly render this so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, not bad, eh? Pretty smooth, pretty cool. Very easy to do as well. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you back next time. Talk to you later.